Communicators are what I would call merchants, traders of meaning. We, we are dealing in meaning. We are merchants, we are carriers, we are conveyors of meaning. And I think what makes the best communicators stand out is because they have become skillful at interpreting life and figuring out what things mean to them and then explaining to us their meaning. I think communication in essence is the communication of what life means to you. Um, but that means you have to yourself be um, thoughtful about the interpretation and the breaking down of meaning. Uh, and one of the ideas I have, one of the messages, one of the thoughts that I have, concepts I have, um, is called meaning is forged, not found. And I think communicators are especially brilliant at forging meaning rather than finding meaning. I think finding meaning is just what other people have decided about that. By definition, if it can be found, it already exists. I think great communicators don't just lazily pick up an off-the-shelf meaning that someone else has found. I think they're thinking there's something else to this, there's another side to this, there is a complete other facet and perspective here that I don't think has been found. And instead of lazily defaulting to the meanings that we've already had for that, they forge, they carve, they pioneer, they go after something else that's hidden beneath the surface where most of us stop. They refuse to get into lazy, stereotypical thinking about where to place things and they get very intentional about what does this mean? Because they realize that, that meaning governs identity and identity governs who we are in life and what we do in life. So what a thing means becomes very powerful to us. If we if we don't figure out what something means, we just go through things in life and wonder what that was about. We learn nothing from it, we pick nothing up from it that empowers us for the next stage. And communicators don't want us to do that. They want us to, to stay there long enough in whatever it is we're going through, however tough it may be, and find out what, what is the meaning here? What is the lesson here? What is the wisdom here? What is it here that I need to pick up and take with me into the future? What is it I can hand back to someone else here that I have discovered that this, this experience meant this? This is the identity it helped forge in me or in you or in a society or a country or a, or, or a scenario that's even global. What does, what does this mean? And I think a forger of meaning, a merchant of meaning, is a good definition of great communication. Great communicators are merchants of meaning. And because they take time to do that for us, which is why we love great communicators so much, we feel that they have, they have gone through something and haven't come out of the other end with what we already knew. They've come up with something that we didn't know. You can only come up with something people didn't see and didn't know if you will investigate for what this means, what are we missing here? What are we too lazy um, to pick up? What, what do we find too difficult? What is too painful to figure out? Great communicators go beyond those barriers and, and make something give up its meaning, give up its lessons to pass on to us. Great communicators are merchants, merchants of meaning.